YouTube TV has been my favorite live TV streaming service for the past few years now, but a new study says YouTube TV isn't number one or even number two for customer satisfaction. The study is from JD Power. It ranked television service providers of all types, cable, satellite, and for the first time ever, live TV streaming. Overall satisfaction was measured by all of these factors. And I gotta say, when I saw the rankings for the live TV streaming category, I was a bit surprised, especially when you consider this poll of my audience. Fubo TV, yep, Fubo, came in number one for customer satisfaction in JD Power's report. Its score was a 789 on a 1000 point scale. Now Fubo TV, it's far from the best value in live TV streaming, but this study wasn't about that. It was about overall satisfaction and the programming is a big part of that. The way I see it, Fubo TV does have a good sports lineup, particularly for soccer fans, but also for college and pro football. That said, it still doesn't carry TBS and TNT at recording time. Those networks were dropped from the service around the time when it added ESPN a couple years ago, and TBS and TNT carry a lot of basketball, hockey, and baseball. But think about it, if you check the channel lineup before you sign up, you would know about Fubo TV's gaps, and you wouldn't subscribe if it was a problem for you. So a lot of Fubo TV subscribers are probably happy with the channel lineup, and also happy with the fact that Fubo TV provides a real premium feel with its features, and that includes multi-view, which I demonstrated in a recent video. I'm making this video because I want to read your comments, so let me know down below why you think Fubo TV ranked number one. But first, we gotta get to the rest of the list, and second is Sling TV. Okay, so my first thought here was that Sling TV ranked so high because it really is a solid option for price sensitive customers. It's got two base plans and at recording time, they start at roughly half the price as some of Sling TV's competitors. The trade off with Sling TV, of course, is that you will need an antenna because the service doesn't offer all of your locals, but many people see that as a pro, not a con. Because after all, if Sling TV did include all of your local stations, it would probably cost just as much as the other services. Now I want to show you the poll of my YouTube community again. Check this out. About 60% of the people who responded said YouTube TV was the best premium live TV streaming service. But for customer satisfaction, YouTube TV is number three on JD Power's list and Hulu Live is just a few points behind in fourth. I've been reviewing live TV streaming services since 2016 and I hear the fewest complaints about these two services, so this was really surprising to me. YouTube TV and Hulu Live actually have a lot in common, a similar price point, channels, and cloud DVR. But since both services are quite expensive and quite popular, I think people who sign up have pretty high expectations for YouTube TV and Hulu Live. And let's be real, there are compromises compared to cable or satellite. You might be missing one of your favorite channels, prefer your old live guide, or not like some of the features. So while many people may be satisfied with YouTube TV or Hulu Live, let's say 90% of the time, they may focus on the 10% of the time when they're not happy just because they're paying so much every month for it. DirecTV Stream is fifth on JD Power's list, and it's the only service to rank below the segment average. I'm not surprised that DirecTV is in this spot, but I do think the service is improving, the most common complaint that I get from customers is that you have to chat or call just to cancel the service. DirecTV Stream is also very pricey, but people stay with it because of the well-rounded channel list, very well-rounded, and it includes regional sports networks with some plans. The study was based on responses from more than 23,000 people who all have paid TV subscriptions and about 3,000 of them use live TV streaming services. Now this is just one study, so I'm not about to change my recommendations just because of it. But it is a good reminder that multiple factors affect your satisfaction. These are all of the factors that went into JD Power's rankings. And from this list, I've highlighted the ones that I would focus on when trying out live TV streaming services. Performance, cost, programming, and features. If you've tried out multiple live TV services, I wanna see your rankings down below in the comments.